It's Miz and Misses. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. These two are such a wonderful couple because they have so much in common. Title reigns, reality television success, being beautiful. Here's another thing they have in common, Corey. They won't shut up about it all. Why would you shut up about that? These two even tag together at WrestleMania. It's Ugh. truly a beautiful love story. I wish you'd shut up about it. We are graced by the presence of two all-time great competitors. They inspire each other to be better. I'm inspired because they are their best when they are at each other's side. It also makes the cheating a little easier. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 255 pounds, Wolfgang! Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there, too. Facing a man in the Miz who knows how to win and will take any opportunity to capitalize. Some people might see The Miz as a brazen, loud mouth, but there's no question how Miz sees himself. He thinks he's awesome, and throughout his highly successful career, he's pretty much proven that claim to be true. Well, The Miz might just have the biggest ego in the history of this industry, and that's saying something, but you're right. There's no denying that he's backed up all of his arrogant claims by being a talented competitor. And now The Miz is ready to once again show the entire WWE Universe just how awesome he can be. And just know that the black eyes and bruises are almost guaranteed in this one, courtesy of Wolfgang. Nothing elegant about it, just the violent, crushing offense from the big man. Off into the pin. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Shoulders down, this could be it. No, shoulders up at two. This could be a tipping point in this match. Scores the reversal on Miz. Plenty of superstars have called out the Miz for his underhanded, perhaps even cowardly tactics in the ring. Corey, how do you counteract someone like Miz who always has a trick up his sleeve? I don't agree that his tactics are cowardly, Cole, but to answer your question, you can't let Miz play you. You've got to be resolute. You've got to keep your head on a swivel. You can't let Miz play with you if you want to come out on top. just taunting his opponent now. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. 
The sleeper in, in trouble here. And, oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Being carried around with ease. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Single leg knee strike from The Miz. Dominance like that is why The Miz is still an A-list. It's over all in a nice work. The Miz comes out on top of the win. Take a bow, Miz. You earned it. Boy, The Miz is really enjoying this win. We get it. You're awesome. The D'Angelo family is here in business. Very good. Tony and Stax take what they want. The only problem is they want it all. The following champion vs. champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Channing Lorenzo, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 240 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Tommy D'Angelo! Their business ventures are booming, but Tony and Stax always want more. Yeah, a pair of multiple-time NXT Tag Team Champs look ready to unleash a crime wave on all of WWE. Tony D'Angelo and Stax call WWE their turf, and they are ready for a turf war. This man is all about being mean and making green. Reforming the OC once again. He may be fun-loving outside of the ring, but he is all business in it. And he has made that painfully obvious time after time. Big LG has worn many hats in WWE, but this is his ultimate form. Yeah, believe it or not, one of the few superstars that actually chokeslammed Kane. No stranger to the WWE Universe, we've seen Luke Gallows go through a number of identity changes through the years. Yeah, Cole, but the past is nothing compared to the present for Luke Gallows. Since reinventing himself, he's found tremendous success all over the world. There's nothing pretty about the way Gallows goes after his opponents. It's just pure, unadulterated destruction. Definitely the most intimidating form we've ever seen from Gallows. And then we have a man who came up the hard way, Tony D'Angelo. 
D'Angelo had to scratch and claw for everything he has, and he built up an impressive physical and mental toughness in the process. D'Angelo is a shrewd competitor, always looking for the best opportunity to come in and take what he believes is his. Spinning sidewalk slam with authority. Effectively using the knee. Oh, no. Uh oh. Knees up, got the knees up at the last second. Oh, man. He is looking to do some serious harm. He's taking this to the floor now. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Boom! A forearm smash! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, what a close one. Can he score the pin? Quick shoulder up. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, face first. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Enough already. An attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. Still a ways to go in this match based on that. Muscling up there, Northern Lights suplex. Neckbreaker. Tony D just sent a message loud and clear with that move. Oh, that got turned around on D'Angelo. Powerless position to be in right now. What a counter by Tony. Enable the counter. A big splash. It's like an SUV falling on you. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He's starting to struggle here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Power slam. Now Tony is getting beaten down. His opponent was able to frustrate him, and Tony's temper got him into a bad situation. Shoulder block with a corkscrew. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Able to evade. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Gallows felt that coming. Boom. Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. He is just reeling from that offense. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, he got him. Is he going to lock this in? A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Power slam. Oh, strong impact. He's headed. Thinking bit to the sky. Whoa, look out. From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. Jarring impact. Ouch. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. He climbs into the ring. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. It's all over. Tony 
comes up big with a win. Here is your winner, Tony D'Angelo! And they were not able to beat the ref's count. This one ends in a count out. When it comes down to the record books, a win is a win no matter the conditions. They should still be proud. The LWO is in the building. It's time for everyone to stand up and take notice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Joaquin Wilde. There is a whole lot of fight in this team, and they won't ever let anyone forget that. For the LWO to give anything less than their best is not an option. That's not how you represent. We are about to witness youth and power personified. And their opponents first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed! Few men in WWE can match this guy when it comes to pure wrestling. Except maybe his brother. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do in the ring. An extremely bright future for Brutus Tree. This guy is the future. One half of the Creed Brothers. And representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Championships and accolades as a collegiate wrestler and has continued that success in WWE. You're right, Corey. Julius Creed won the Dusty Rhodes Classic and the NXT Tag Titles alongside his brother. If you're looking for some good old-fashioned wrestling, then Julius Creed is about to give you some. Here we go, the LWO ready to compete here in this one. Such a talented group of superstars coming together for a common goal. They want to represent the Latino culture, want to represent a legacy in this business. The LWO is bigger than just these teammates, and that's what they want everyone to know. Yeah, looking around at the crowd, at all the fans wearing LWO shirts representing this team proudly, that's what it's all about.
And when it comes to the Creeds, you almost take their incredible power for granted because you expect it to be there. But their impressive speed and agility have a major impact on their offense and their defense. Straight up, competitors who are as big and powerful as Julius and Brutus are not supposed to move like that. I mean, they can really do it all. Oh, and he answers back on Cruz. Oh, that might have just broken something. There's the tag. Into the corner. This can't be good. Able to reverse that one. Shoulder tackle. Cover, cover. And he manages to kick out at one. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. He deflects it right back. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Cody. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. They're slamming their face down. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. He made it. Tag made. And Joaquin Wilde just taunting his opponent now. A single leg and a backdrop to follow. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Running Hurricane Rana. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Kick to the midsection, sets that flip. The power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. He got whipped into that corner. That turns it around for Julius. And Julius gets met with a response. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Measured kick to the vertebrae. So much damage inflicted. And Wilde is in control. Julius might be in a panic soon. Oh, what a tackle. He's tagging out. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Oh, geez. Nash, he thinks he has it. And a shoulder in the air. He's far from finished. What impact. Boom! What a right! Getting tossed around. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. He may be in a bad way here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Into a German. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Oh, saw it coming. And another counter. Left by the turnbuckles. to the gut creates separation. Able to avoid any harm there. Pinpointing the leg. Nice. Ooh. Goes for that save, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. Del Toro has him. Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Makes the cover. And the winners celebrating together 
Great chemistry tonight. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. You dare be sour. Clap for the greatest thing going and feel the power. One of the most entertaining and successful teams in WWE, the New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's the New Day. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day! What makes the New Day so impressive is the incredible bond these superstars share. Seems like nothing will ever come between them. They celebrate each other's successes and are by each other's sides in loss. Now you really can't help but be inspired by these guys. They've accomplished so many incredible things together. It's true. Historic championship reigns, memorable matches, the power of positivity has taken the New Day far. Here comes Angel and Umberto. Fighting for their family name, and the ladies love it. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel Garza and Umberto Los I have to say, Los Lotharios have always been a threat, but they've brought a new level of aggression as of late. I agree, Corey, though I think they could probably cut down on the ringside flirting. That's like asking the sun not to shine, Saxton. I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. Representatives of the New Day out here for this match. New Day loves to have fun, but guys, this is a tag team that could easily be considered one of the greatest of all time. Especially when they get rolling in the ring. New Day loves to pick up the pace, get the action going, and get the crowd pumping. Absolutely, Byron. And you can bet they'll try to do that here in this one. Yeah, but Los Lotharios present a pretty tough test for them. Bell to bell. Now, part of the Garza family tree, these guys are dynamic and studs in every sense of the word. They're good enough that they can win a match and scope the action in the crowd. 
Humberto gets the better there. Uh, off the rope. Looking for a swinging neck breaker and a unique splash. And set right into the corner. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Oh, oh that can rock you. Not quite smooth sailing for Los Lotharios there. Tag is made. What's going to happen here? That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Uh, tag made. Oh, man. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. What's coming next? A back suplex. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Here we go. From the top, finds the mark with a leg drop. There it is. Snap suplex. Oh, the elbow connects. Counter. And now there's an opening. Nice Back breaker. Moonsault. Tag. something here. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Oh, tag with the boot. He's got him scouted. Ow. Oh, no, you can't do that to the face of a Lothario. Angels put a stop to that. a perfectly placed target. Ooh! Clubbing blow to the back. Turning the tables. That's a tag. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. And Kofi experienced a bit of a pushback to his desired frenetic pace there. to stop Kofi. Oh, what a punch. Here he comes off the tag. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Looking wobbly in the corner. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Oh. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Angels put a stop to that. Able to get the advantage here. Spin kick to the midsection. Arm ringer, punch to the face. Tag is good. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop.
He went right into that turnbuckle. Well, dodge in the corner. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. A running hard con run. Beautiful. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. And he's able to fight Angel off. Sweeps the legs. Stop. Big splash. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resource. Tag made. Oh, I think something bad is about to happen to their opponent. Down they go. Kofi was perfectly on target. The cover. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. Placing them into the corner. The body is starting to fail at this point. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist.
Indie Wrestling is here. Quite the impressive young talent. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Indy Hartwell has already had reigns with the NXT Tag Titles and the NXT Women's Championship. Truly battle tested, she's ready to continue that success on the main roster. Would you say, Cole, that she's impressive? Enemies of Blair, beware. Yeah, she says she's cold, collected, and coming to dominate WWE. And her opponents, first, from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport! This woman is the textbook definition of ruthless. You gotta love Blair Davenport. Blair Davenport, a very sinister mind and amazing in-ring skills. Now, yeah, Michael, a truly merciless competitor who is out to hurt anyone who stands across from her. Well, if that's what it takes, then so be it. I'll tell you, nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. A grand entrance for a Grand Slam champion. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Byron, you are definitely not ready for Asuka. Oh, hold on, Michael. Maybe on a good day. No, not on your best day. But for once, there's no shame in that, Saxton. No one is ready for Asuka. Oh, uh, can I finish my thought? I know you're scared. I get excited when I see Asuka. I'm sorry, Corey. Continue. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Maybe you can borrow Asuka's mask, Byron. Anyway, she's a women's Grand Slam champion. Raw women's title, SmackDown women's title, NXT women's title, women's tag team title. Asuka marches to her own drum in life and in the ring. A lethal striker. By the time her opponent knows what hit him, it's too late. And we've been waiting for this, a triple threat match. One fall to a finish between three very hungry competitors. Egos, feelings, and bodies are about to be hurting this one, Cole. That's just what happens when you add a third to the mix. Tossed a substantial distance. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Nasty looking R-bar. 
With the reversal! Vamping <laughs> face Burn. buster! Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Oh, that's gonna sting your back. And she's stunned to the corner. Asuka turns it around. No telling what she'll find under the ring here. Oh, man, come on now. Not a sledgehammer. Impressive reversal there. Sledgehammer right to the gut. Looking like John Henry swinging the hammer like that. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taken up. Here we go. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Snapmare takedown. Oh, a roundhouse kick. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. And a neckbreaker counter. Oh! And Davenport perhaps struggling to keep up there. Outright malicious intent from Indy Hartwell there. Davenport making clear she has her number. Oh, disturbing impact. Into the cover. Stops the ref count before two. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Sore for a while could affect all their offense. And another. For the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Going after the arm. Fujiwara arm bar, incredible pressure. into the corner. Davenport making clear she has her number. Oh, shotgun drop kick. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Close line. What a way to get countered. Absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. She's getting something from under the ring. And it looks like she has swift justice in mind. She could pair her opponent right here. The pen's broken up. Not the position you want to be in right now. Flamed across the way. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Grabbing a kendo stick, any connection with flesh will definitely leave a welt. Big knee to the midsection. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. And that definitely made solid impact. Things not going how she'd like. Hanging tough as this match progresses, no easy task in a triple threat match. And that stops whatever Blair had intended. Places her right in the corner. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And just efficiency and precision on shoulders down. And she kicks out at two. No celebrations yet.
match from all three superstars in this match. I think it was fairly apparent early on that she was going to do anything she had to do in order to get the win in this triple threat. And boy, did that resolve pay off. And here we go, wasting little time. The brawl's underway. So much bad blood between both these teams, not even waiting for the bell to ring. If this is any indication, this is gonna be a wild matchup. Well, the match is starting outside the ring. Two teams with nothing in common and no middle ground. After a shotgun attack during the end, he's going for the pin. Raises the shoulder. Early pinfall attempt denied at one. A lot of time left to go. Caught with a clothesline. Oh, Matt slam with some attitude. And don't just look at that as showing off. The revolution involved in that move makes the impact so much more devastating. Close line! Boom, right in the button. Great strength being shown here. Oh, someone called a dentist. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. That's a free fall. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Beautiful back suplex. Oh, and a senton. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Angelo Dawkins with a well-timed shot. Gets the tag. Oh, and a reversal. Splash in the corner. Wow. He can do it here. And a kick out. He really thought that was it. What grace. Float over to the DDT. Fight. Oh my God, a DDT! Spike them. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Ouch. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. It's Gargano who got taken to school with that attack. And now that might be a confidence booster for the Street Profits. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. He gets tagged in. Big close play and possum. Shoulders down. And he kicks out at two. Very close. The T clearly set again. Uh-oh. Face first. Oh, look at this. Raining right hands. Does not stop blows. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. Alley-oop. 
There's a tag. Champa skillfully counters. Guys, truly, I need to know, when will enough be enough? When is this going to end? They truly want to rip each other apart. I think you just answered your own question. This doesn't end until they rip each other apart. There's no happy ending to this rivalry. There is no saving grace. He switches it back around. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. That holds back Ford's attack. <laughs> Guys, what are they planning to do here? Using the ropes in a Whoa. chicken wing. in the corner. Wow. Check this out, guys. Double underhook coming. Byron's going to love this. Doom Buster! Getting dropped on your head like that is not something you want to be doing often. Whoa. Oh, just turn that around. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Wow, belly wow. up, belly. The Street Profits just got the heat turned on to them with that one. Yeah, as Champa was showing off that vicious streak of his there. Getting him into the corner. And Ford had it scouted. Up in the ante right here. Look at the ups. Hail Mary. And there's the cover. And he fights it off. How? How? Oh! Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that. One step ahead there. Fires back with a crucial elbow. A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. off the pin at two. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Set up in the corner of the ring. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. He's in a bad way, guys. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Yeah. Oh, a jumpy DDT. My. Ooh. A celebration of victory in this match where some devious offensive action earlier on put them in control. It took plenty of cunning and some killer instinct, but what a win.
The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women's Champion and the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley! The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all. And they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. Here comes everyone's favorite bundle of insanity. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross! The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. Every week, Ripley just gets more ruthless. How do you prepare for that? You have to be mentally prepared as well as physically for a master class in brutality. Rhea Ripley says she's done allowing people to live in their own fairy tale. She's really looking to beat... Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Kayla Clutch. Trying a part her opponent's fingers. Needs to find a way out of this hold. And she does. Ooh, she hit the corner. Back and forth from these competitors. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. And Rhea finds a counter. <laughs> Using the elbow to escape the attack. Rich in the arm. Man, what a clothesline. <laughs> and a drop kick. Picture perfect. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Ripcord drop kick. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. And the manager is searching under the ring. He can only be looking for something nefarious down there.
There's return fire on Rhea. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. No secret that Rhea Ripley possesses terrifying strength. Does that give her an upper hand tonight? Absolutely. Rhea's ability to overpower the competition and throw them around the ring gives her an instant advantage. If she can get control over her opponent, this could be a quick match. Russian leg sweep. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. A straight jacket. What are they looking to do here? Into a neck breaker. Ah, face first off the post. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. And all of Ripley's ring experience is being tested a bit here. Right to the knee. Focus that attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Ooh, nasty kick. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Oh, uh, the old leg toss. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Nice drop kick. She scores big with the counter. Jawbreaker interrupts the attack. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. These two having an answer for everything. He is looking to do some serious harm. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. To the face, had that one telegraphed. Draped across the top rope. Whiplash! Now, here's the cover. Kick out just in time. She's still as determined as ever. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Look out! Suicide dive! Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Ripley gets her back. And she slides her back to the mat. And Nikki is getting the crowd going. That's what they call me, the hot shot. Nikki Cross heads up. Oh my gosh, what impact. We might be close to the end. Not what you want to see by any means. Just dropped her like she was nothing. This is just brute power. Oh my goodness, absolute dominance. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ripley, the prison trap. The prism trap is applied. And Nikki Cross, hold on. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Look out. Nobody home for that one. Big form. Each competitor wants to prove that they are the toughest woman walking God's green earth. I cannot believe the punishment these superstars are inflicting on one another. Boot right in the jaw. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Nikki Cross, this is not going to be good for her opponent. Is it enough? Is it enough for Cross? It's got to be it. Two count. Oh, kick. Got yeah, kick out of two. That was amazing. The word quit is not. In Rhea Ripley's vocabulary. And no doubt Nikki thought that would be it. You can tell just how frustrated she is at this point. Yeah. 
What a drop kick. Impressive defense stops Ripley. Moonsault, moonsault. Boom! And he's taking this to the outside now. Goodness gracious. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, my. Rhea Ripley looking to force her opponent to quit with the prism trap. She's in a tremendous amount of pain, and she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with it. Taking flight. Diving body splash. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. It's all over. Rhea Ripley gets it done. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley! Rhea Ripley has her hand raised. And Ripley just adding another name to her long list of victims. She is looking unstoppable, putting the women's division on notice with this win. Well, we got to decide which one of these men will start the match for their respective teams. Yeah, it doesn't look like things are going too well, does it? Well, a few hiccups early on, but there's the bell, and here we go. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. It is critical to put teamwork ahead of ego in this match. Well, here we go, and we shouldn't expect a friendly bit of competition between these superstars in this one. The thing about this is, these superstars don't just dislike each other. They don't respect each other. Oh, in this business, you have to earn your respect. If a handshake doesn't work, maybe a little beatdown will. Delivering nasty stops. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Side. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. He's lost some of his win now. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. What a counter. Hold on. Delivered with force. Vicious right forearm. What a punch. He thinks he has it. Determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, man. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And Rhodes continuing his charge. Evia has to trust his instincts at this point. <laughs> oh, what a boot. And Rhodes able to reverse that. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. 
and a series of vicious stomps. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. He takes control. Tossed into the corner. Boom! What a right! Gosh! Tag! Oh, that didn't go as Seth designed. Ooh. Uh oh. What a hurt, Karana! You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Good timing with that reversal. Jumping complete shot. Clean tag for his partner. Drop kick caught him. Oh, God. Tag switching it up. Dismantling the arm in the corner. It's gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus. This competitor now. Looks like a superplex, and this is just incredible. Up there all day long. Crashing down. That move wasn't originally in the cover. Just kicks out. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. There he goes, right into the corner. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Got the tag. Got the tag. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Great reaction from Cedric. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Makes him pay with a counter. Drop kick. He's taking some good hits. Furious offense from Rollins. His temper's flaring right now. Well, no, it's roll up. And a kick out right away. What a kick out. Close line to the back of the neck. He's able to sidestep there. Seth Rollins. Inverted tree of woe position now. That holds back Cedric's attack. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. Oh, what a counter. Tag is good. Tag made. Oh, my God. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Alexander answers back. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. That one just busted open Dragonov. Oh, he retaliates. And Tagirian finds its mark. Oh, anus knee to the face. From behind. Snap German suplex. Oh, my. Knee right to the back of the neck. And the wear and tear keeps mounting on Cedric. Yeah, things looking quite bleak for Cedric. Good 
sweet, sweet victory. Here are your winners, the team of Ilian Dragunov and Seth Rollins. Able to shake that disharmony and come out with the victory. That's going to be a great feeling. Well, it also has to be hard knowing that might have been the end of the relationship. We'll have to wait and see on this one, guys. Hopefully this victory will help them bury the hatchet and look towards the future. Ah, uh, here we go now. Oh, and before the opponent can even get in the ring, beat the hell out of this guy. The referee trying to separate the two men. Yeah, at least enough to just ring the bell and officially get this match started. Tensions have boiled over, and we haven't even started the thing. Ah, uh, superstar who was attacked is uh, starting with a big disadvantage here. Yeah, the pre-match attack has completely changed the odds in this matchup. Ah, uh, bear hugs. Uh, the Smash! That is just insulting. Enough already. Ooh! Carefully measured knee strikes. Oh, and left him with these knee strikes. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Gunther got surprised there. Got to find a way to get out of this. Right across the left. Just toying with their opponent right now. Having fun at their expense. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. That's going to fire you up with anger. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Punishing their opponent. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Oh, and back of the elbow. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Caught him with a big boot. On a claw, there's the claw. Oh, and he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. No, sir. Rare naked choke now locked in. Can you imagine? Cocaine a clutch, nowhere to go, but there is a way to break it. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. He's looking a little off balance. And Omos punished him with that power. One, two. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And here we go. The Nicely done. And the ring general, Gupther, with a salute of sorts to the WWE Universe.
Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Drop kick! Great athleticism. Counters, this could be an opportunity. safe to say it's all thanks to that fairly vicious attack we saw. A loss like this is what happens when you fail to expect the unexpected. Well, I think they expected a normal sanctioned match from bell to bell. Well, just like I said,